name is Deontay, D-D-J, and welcome to the season premiere of the Raw GM mode. And the rules this season are very simple. There is no budget this time around because as you saw in what I will call episode zero, Brandon does everything, aka BDE was the one that drafted our entire Raw roster to use this season. And on this season, we are kicking things off on the road to WrestleMania. Also, by the way, taking a look at this Raw roster right here, I can't help but notice we've got Eric Bischoff on the roster. I'm gonna make him the assistant to the general manager, okay? He's not quite on my level, but if there's anything I can't be bothered doing, uh, he can take care of it. I uh, whatever. Because why should the greatest general manager of all time do all the work? I mean, come on now. Madison Square Garden, acknowledge me. Now, while your tribal chief is still the undisputed universal champion, Sammy, wise man, it seems that we've been drafted away from the rest of the bloodline. Roman would say that the pressure is now on the honorary Uth Sami Zayn to step up. You've been letting me down a lot lately on SmackDown, but I'm gonna give you one more chance on Raw after this draft to prove to me that I didn't make a mistake here. Now I know Eric Bischoff has put you in the number one contendership match tonight, but I need to know I can trust you. So later tonight, I want you to come out here and lay down for your tribal chief. But Roman, uh, as a former master strategist, Forgive me for speaking out of turn here, but wouldn't it make more sense if I beat Randy and then let's say lay down for you at the Royal Rumble and- Roman would cut Sammy off right there and say, are you doubting your tribal chief? I can handle Orton at the Royal Rumble. Zane swallows his pride and promises Reigns. I'm not gonna let you down. We're like family now, Oos. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, Randy Orton. Look, I know you're about to ask me all these questions, but I don't have time. It has been far too long since I was truly focused here in the WWE. I guess you could say I'm in a slight crisis of confidence. I mean, I've spent too many years not being ruthless enough. I mean, let's face it, I lost my edge in this business and I don't know if I'll ever get it back. I mean, maybe this is a swan song for the Viper. But tonight, in the main event, a couple of RKO's should do the trick in getting me back in the groove as I begin my path to becoming world champion again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as the show continues, I have another announcement to make. In an interpromotional deal, I've allowed SmackDown to have exclusive ownership of the Undisputed Tag Team Championships purely because Brandon hasn't given me many tag teams here to work with on Raw, and I don't want to just throw some random people together. I am bringing back a championship that may be familiar to all the viewers of the Raw GM mode because the Women's Intercontinental Championship is back. It's been far too long since I was world champion, but I was the number one draft pick for a reason, and that's because this is the Kevin Owens Show. And yet, I'm a prize fighter who hasn't fought for the prize for a very long time, and it's about time I took back what is rightfully mine. So I'm declaring myself for the Royal Rumble, where I will go on to main event KO Mania. Well, see, Kev, that's where you're wrong. I mean, you certainly are one of the best. You're good, but this isn't your year. This is the year of the one and only. But hey, when I win the Royal Rumble and I'm finally world champion, I owe you the first shot. No, 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 no. Your year most certainly isn't this one. But while you're here, Rick, I I, I got you something, actually. You got me something? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a belated Christmas gift, but I just, I hope you like it, man. Let me just... And KO with a stunner to Ricochet. Not quite what the one and only was looking for, but nevertheless, KO sending a message to a man who he will see in the Rumble. Meanwhile, Rey Mysterio as United States Champion and in US Champion Spirit would throw down the open challenge of which would be answered by John Cena's shocking return. He got caught! He got caught again! Attitude adjustment! John Cena is United States Champion again! Mysterio would shake the hand of Cena, who had once again returned to Raw and in Rey's eyes, stolen a title from him. Mysterio would shockingly turn his back on his old friend, low-blowing Cena and saying he was done being disrespected. An evil Rey Mysterio was born. Oh my god, it's all breaking down here in the back. KO and Ricochet are brawling clearly over what happened earlier tonight. You know what? No, hang on a second. There's only one way I can settle this right now. Just give me a second, okay? 
that is enough. Both of you clearly have a lot of pent up frustration heading into the Rumble. So up next, it's going to be KO versus Ricochet. And you know what? The winner can pick their entry spot in the Royal Rumble match. Well, there's a reason they call it high risk, high reward, not paying off for Ricochet that time. Kevin Owens taking advantage and now KO with the win over Ricochet. But the question is, what number is Kevin gonna pick? I choose number one. This incredible New Year's episode of Raw rolls on as the Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair would make her way to the ring. I've beaten pretty much everyone since I became Raw Women's Champion. I mean, at this point, I have proven that I am the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the baddest, the greatest Raw Women's Champion of all. I'm back. Did you miss me? Girl, uh-uh. We did not miss you. Oh, that's cute, Bianca, but we all know you did. Because let's face it, without me, there is no Bianca Belair. I mean, you're essentially following the blueprint that I laid out, but maybe that's for another day. I'm not out here to challenge you, Bianca, not yet. Then why are you here? I'm here because I am going to enter the Royal Rumble, win it again, and then I'll take back my queendom. But until then... Was she a back champ? Whether she knew what was about to happen or not, Charlotte's warning would lead to Io Shirai attacking Bianca. So, a little birdie tells me that we're getting some new hardware around here, a new championship, and so it only makes sense as a woman that has made so much damn history and someone who was the first female draft pick to make some more history because I want the first shot at the Intercontinental Championship. But none other than Lana would return to Raw sporting a new look with who she would refer to as her insurance policy, Andre? Lynch would respond by saying, what the f*** are just bringing anyone back now? But Lana would respond by saying she is not to be messed with this time and she will be the first women's IC champion. The main event began with a clear dilemma in Zayn. Should he lay down? But think of the embarrassment. But also, how dedicated was he to Roman Reigns and the bloodline? In the end, Zayn Zane goes out of his way to disobey Reigns' orders and go over his head to sneak out a victory over Randy Orton. Zane taking advantage of a shocking appearance from the man now simply known as Akira at ringside who was almost cheering on Randy Orton. Being the master strategist that Zane is, thinking that this would be a better way to guarantee Roman would main event Mania as champion. This is what Roman would want, said Zane. However, Roman would be furious, saying that this is going to make him look weak. Tensions are building in the bloodline as we head towards the Royal Rumble, where apparently Sami Zayn will lay down for a now pissed off Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship on the line as the road to WrestleMania gets underway.